Hello, my name is Kelly Jolly. I'm with America's Home Checkers. We do home inspections here in the North Carolina area, Raleigh, Durham, Chapel Hill, surrounded areas. And uh, I was here, Terry's here, and she just wanted me to tell you a little bit about home inspections, what the process is, what you should be looking for. And I thought we might just start out by just finding out exactly what is a home inspection. There's uh, so many misconceptions on what a home inspection is. A lot of times people think that we're coming in looking for marks on the walls, um, stains on carpets, things of that nature. And a, a true home inspection should be a structural and mechanical home inspection. And we're looking for major defects that are in immediate need of repair. And, uh, and going through that, I feel like a home inspector should be going under the house, through the house, around the house, all areas to look for your roof, structural, mechanical defects, plumbing, electrical, running all of your appliances, checking all your doors, checking all your windows, checking all the outlets that you can get to. And as we go through, we'll uh, make comment to those defects and then your realtor will go back and anything you can't live with, then it's a negotiating item to find out uh, what can be uh, repaired prior to closing. Uh, another thing that uh, I thought we'd talk about a little bit is how to choose a home inspector. Um, there's a lot of home inspectors in the business, anything from part-time home inspectors to full-time home inspectors. And I think there's several things that set home inspectors apart. And one would be uh, North Carolina is a licensed state, meaning that all home inspectors in the state of North Carolina have had to take training and pass a test and continue uh, taking continuous um, training or continuing education each year, and that's a, a requirement of 12 hours a year. I would highly urge you to look for the ASHI logo. For any home inspector you're looking at, ASHI is A-S-H-I. That's the American Society of Home Inspectors. And in addition to the 12 hours, all ASHI members must take an additional 20 hours a year. Most of the time that 20 hours is not inclusive with the 12 hours that we've already taken to, to keep our state license. Um, also, an uh, ASHI inspector, you'll know he's not a new inspector. You can't become an ASHI inspector until you've done at least 200 inspections. So uh, that's just something to kind of take a look at. I would say another real important thing to take a look at, um, first of all, personalities that work with you. The other thing would be insurances. Um, there's a lot of home inspectors. I would say the majority of them out here that do not carry basically any type of insurance except maybe a little general liability, meaning if they broke something in a house when they were there, then they're covered. For yourself as a home buyer, if I were hiring someone to look at the greatest investment that you'll probably ever make, I would want to make sure that he had errors in admission insurance. And what errors in admission insurance states is that if your home inspector misses something out there while he's doing the inspection, that we, or my company, cares up to a million dollars coverage to make sure that your investment's fully covered. If we've missed it, we take care of it. If you're lucky enough to be looking at some of the new homes that are on the market, uh, builders require most anybody that shows up on their, their building site to have workers' comp insurance also. So that's just three different type of insurances that you might want to check, make sure your home inspector has. Um, as I stated before, you need to find someone that works with your personality. And in my opinion, that would be depending on what type of report you're looking for. I think it's very important to use digital photos in a report. And um, it's not what a home inspector finds. If he finds the defects and he doesn't convey it to you as a buyer, then you're really losing out on the benefit of what you're paying for. And so what um, my particular company, what we like to do is use digital photos with two inspectors. My father works with me. It's a family-owned business. And he's going around the inside, I'm going around the outside, basically up underneath in the attic. And anytime we run across a defect, we take photographs. And before you leave, we just plug them right into these little PC tablets. And this is just an example of a little PC tablet. And as, uh, before you leave, what we would end up doing is going through and showing you every single defect. Um, personally before you leave. And then within the same day, what we do is email you a password that takes you to the internet and it will give you your report with all the photographs tagged with text. You can print them out if you like or they're stored on the internet for five years. It's just a little small sample of, of a report with all the photographs in it 
all the defects are tagged, and it makes it real easy for you to go back and you and your realtor to take a look at these defects and get with the home on. And uh, they don't have to wonder where was he talking about when he found those defects. Um, I would say one other thing that that would be very important for me if I were a homeowner coming in, once again, no matter who you decide to use in a home inspection, so many people are unaware exactly what radon gas is. And radon gas is the decaying uranium that comes up into the house and it's the second leading cause of lung cancer in the United States. People will go and spend anywhere from three to $400 roughly for a home inspection to make sure they don't have a leaky faucet, but they don't spend the extra few dollars to have a radon test to make sure they're not moving their family into something that's an unsafe environment. So I highly urge you to make sure that you check for radon in addition to your home inspection. And um, that can be done. A lot of people ask, could I do the test myself? You can, but Terry, uh, your realtor, will talk to you about the clause that's in your contract that you have the right to have it tested prior to closing. If you do it later, then obviously if you ran into high levels of radon, which is very easy to take care of, but that would be a situation where it would be all on your own. And uh, you may want to talk to Terry further about that. You can ask Terry uh, for home uh, guide to citizen radon, a home buyers and sellers guide to radon, I apologize. This is a publication put out by EPA. So all the, the numbers that are being used about radon and the risk, they're put out by EPA. You can purchase these books or you can go to my website and it's americashomechecker.com and you can download one free and um, have that type of information. You can also go to the website and just click on radon risk. It's not a selling tool on radon. It's just a very informative um, five minute video segment that you just need to take a look at prior to uh, looking at houses. And I guess that's about all that I have as far as home inspections, unless you would like to call me, I'd be glad to answer any of your questions, go in depth about anything in particular. But uh, other than that, uh, good luck in your house hunting and I would love to do the business for you. Thank you.